Welcome to my YouTube channel! So, Rick and, Rick and Morty Season 5 coming soon. I love the series a lot. And I am here today to show you guys how to make Rick and Morty little cute earrings. It's actually quite easy. And I am doing this based on my very little previous experience on polymer clay. I have just bought it very recently, like two weeks ago. So, I am going to show you guys how to make this many colors of 50 colors i can still not find the shade of rick's hair therefore i've come up with a solution which is mixing two colors together one is cyan 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 super cyan i don't know how to pronounce the color name and blue so i'm uh, mixing these two colors together and i'm making out this color that is rick's hair color this is beige for the skin color white color for the eyes and then black for the eyeballs you know the great thing about this thing it actually comes with a set of tools and you need a pen knife a cutting mat and you need earring hooks and that's about it so first of all i make the base first which is using beige color and kind of flatten it. I don't want it to be an entire round rick. I want it to be like a half 3D. I do the ears. I use a pen knife and I actually roll one very small uh, flat sphere. So it into half and then I just paste it together. There's a very interesting detail in Rick's face, which is his eye bags. He has this loose flesh uh, besides his mouth. Shape it and I, and I flatten it to fit it with his face and also the nose. I also use my pen knife to make his mouth. Take a little bit of white, paste it onto his eyes. I actually did the eyes first, but it is more advisable to do the hair first. You need to pinch out a very small amount of black and then you need to roll it and then you just paste it on the eyes. So you have to do the uh, lighter parts first so that the black color doesn't contaminate your blue color if you do the eyes first. The eyebrows, simple. Just roll it. In the the hair, I flatten an entire dough of blue and I put Rick's face on it. I cut the hair out using the pen knife. Okay, so after that, Rick is done. And I proceeded to do Morty. Morty, you just have to use bit color. Round and just... After you flatten it, Right, you just use pen knife, draw the eyebrows, the mouth, and the nose as well. I did the same to the white color dough. Just press it onto a um, mori, as well as the ears. Just cut into half, and the hair. And I just took brown color. I just pasted Mori's face onto the brown colored hair, and after I am done, I attach the earring hook onto both of them and one thing though you have to oven them first so that they can harden i preheat it to 120 degrees at 15 minutes no i, I put rick and morty onto the aluminum foil and i put it on the tray after i am done i take the tray and put it into the oven and i send them to mexico yeah i bake them okay i bake them at 120 as well for a good 15 minutes as well and I take it out, I let them rest. If not very hot, you cannot wear. How are you supposed to wear when they're hot? I am done. I can wait after MCO that I can wear these out and then people ask me where I buy it. I can just say, <laughs> I made them. Oh, where did you buy this? Where did you buy this? No, I made it. I made it out of my own clay, out of my own hair. Okay everyone, you guys can um, like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and I shall experiment more stuff in my clay lab. 
Rick and Morty season 5 coming out! Well, thank you for watching my video and I hope to see you guys.